All right, guys, just got to do a quick build, build video of the QAV 250. Uh, got this on Amazon, quite a good price. Uh, it comes with the mowers, the flight controller, the PDB I did switch out from at it because it's got an on screen display, which is definitely handy. And you get the ESCs as well. First thing I'm going to do is mount each motor to an arm using the screws provided. When you're mounting the motors, just use some thread lock on each of the screws here because it's going to be quite a lot of vibration. Now we have the standoffs on the bottom plate, we're going to connect the motor arms by sandwiching them in between the two bottom plates. Now I want to mount the ESCs. I don't really want to cut and join them here, and I think it's just a bit too short, so I'm going to try and run the wires along the side of the ESC. That's all wires and the motors and the ESC is connected. Now I'm just going to use another piece of heat shrink to tidy up these wires. I've put the ESCs on with the cable ties. I'll tidy that up with some electrical tape. Before we connect the PDB, we're going to solder on the wires for the XT60 connector. That's the XT60 connector attached. We shall now solder on each of the ESCs. I took the CC3D out of the protective casing because I wanted to mount it on my standoffs here. So I made the mistake of not checking my wiring before I powered it up to do the test. And as soon as I plugged it in, two of the ESCs blew up. Um, the ESCs were totally destroyed and sadly my boxers didn't make it. So while we wait for my new ESCs to come, I'm going to fit the VTX. I've got the Asian TX1200. I'm also going to find a place for my receiver to go. I've got myself a CADX Retail 2.1mm camera. VTX cable installed. I've got the 10 volt uh, power to the VTX, the ground to the VTX and also the video input. Now I'm going to connect the camera wires to the PDP. Now we have the camera, the receiver and the VTX installed. Just need to wait for the ESCs to come and then we can finish this build. The new ESCs came, I've got them soldered on. I'm going to do a test before I tidy all the wiring up, just make sure everything's working okay. I think it's time to do a test fly. Believe it or not, this is one of the best flights I got from the drone. We spent a lot of time messing with the settings, the PIDs, the rates, auto stabilisation, messing around with the different modes. I just couldn't get it to fly smooth at all. This is as smooth as it gets. And as soon as you try and throw a roll or a flip in there, well, that, that happens. So as you can see from the video, the drone's pretty shaky, it flies terribly, um, it's actually quite dangerous if I'm honest. I did put some Johnny props on there to try and get it a bit smoother but it's just not happening. Not too sure if the ESCs are helping, um, I had to change these. did have a few issues throughout the build, uh, the supplier did recommend 4S batteries to fly it but um, the motors, the ESCs, they only support 3S, so just watch what you're doing <laughs> when you're buying drones, always check the parts, just do a little bit of research before you buy it. Now I know, I've learned, learned from your mistakes. Um, it was still quite fun to build, quite enjoyed blowing up the ESCs, it was fun. I might upgrade the flight controller in a later video, uh, maybe get a 4-in-1 ESC, uh, try and tidy this up a bit, make it a bit lighter get a flight controller that's got runs on better flight or something other than Libra Pilot and hopefully I can get it to fly a bit better. So that's my first drone build done. Yeah, it was a terrible drone but I'm looking forward to building my next one. Um, so look forward to that in the next video.
please like and subscribe that would be amazing and thanks for watching